Okay, uh, let's check how uh, the Tispan Bridge command, uh, Tispan Bridge component actually works uh, on the modify tool. Here is the Tispan Bridge component. So basically, what it does is uh, make a bridge between uh, faces or edges. Uh, so we're gonna need a couple of surfaces to bridge from. So let's make two two planes, and let's move one plane. In the theta axis, let's make a slider to control that amount. Uh, we're gonna use from 0 to 20, and we're gonna connect here. So basically, we have our two surfaces. Let's uh, set the number of faces on each plane. We're going to need another slider. Let's go from one, that's the minimum number of uh, faces, to let's say 10. I'm going to contact, I'm going to connect this slider in both uh, planes. So now I can change the number of faces on each plane. Okay, so let's say we want to bridge the interface here with the interface here. Uh, for that, uh, we're gonna need to use this component, this decompose the face. What it actually does is um, give us the faces indices in different ways, all the faces, the regular faces, the angle faces, the border, the inside faces. In this case, we need the inside faces. So, first let's copy this. So, basically, what we need to the this bridge com component has a lot of inputs. We, we're gonna use only the most important this the first input surface and the second this plant input surface. So, the surface. We have it here, we just need to connect them. And then we're going to use, you have the first set of edges and the first set of faces. So we're going to take the inner faces of one of the planes. I'm going to connect it there. And the inner faces of the other of the planes, we connect it in the face. Let's hide this. So basically we have a, a bridge between the middle faces. Another useful, you can you can bridge along a curve uh, with a rotation. And another useful parameter is the number of uh, segments on the bridge. So let's make a, well actually let's copy this slider. And we connect it there. So now we can control parametrically the number of uh, edges or faces we want in, in in the bridge. As you can see, uh, let's bake it. And hide this. So basically we have a bridge between two different surfaces. So we can basically choose the, the number of faces on each plane and all the center faces are going to bridge. As we said, we can also bridge uh, edges of surfaces. So it's going to try that, Let's delete these ones. Uh, so basically what, what we want to try is to bridge these edges with these edges. So for now we need the indices of the edges, and for that we're going to use uh, this component. It's called this plane draw indexes. So when we connect a surface, 
it gives us the, the, the name of each component, the edges, the vertices, and the faces. So in this case, we're going to use the edges. We have 0, 1, and 2 as edges of this first surface. Let's draw the indices of, of the other T-spring surface, and we get the same numbers. So we want to connect these ones. For that, we need the, the, the first input set of, of uh, edge and the second input set of edge. So let's do something here. Okay, let's agree, let's uh, run a series component here. And let's, uh, for example, the series is zero by default, that's okay. Step size for number is one, that is okay. And the number of values in the series, we want, uh, if we want the three, the three edges with these three edges to connect, we at least need uh, zero to two. So let's make, let's make a slider. Number zero to two. Let's connect it here. So as a result, I have a series of numbers uh, that I have to connect on the edge indices input. Actually, we don't want from zero to two, we want from one to three. So as you can see, I bridge all these edges. Let's hide this. Let's bake the surface. There we have the, the T spline surface that was bridged. So we can also bridge between the same T-spline surfaces, uh, for example, faces of the same surface or edges of the same surface. So we're going to try that now. Uh, let's delete all this. Let's say we have a box. And I want, let's make a box domain. Let's make a slider for the box size. And we'll connect this to all the inputs. And let's say, let's make a slider for the number of faces on the box. So let's do from one to five and connect to the X, Y, and C uh, parameters. So let's say I want to bridge between that face and this face in the bottom. What we're going to need uh, to do is to use the draw indices to know the indi indices of, the, of those uh, faces. So it's 27 with 26, 27 with 26. Let's hide it for now. Let's connect this surface to the, uh, the first input and also to the second input and then in the faces I'm gonna add the 26 that is the indices of my top face and in the second input let's put 27 let's hide this and as you can see 
a bridge has been done uh, in, in, between these two phases. Let's bake it. Uh, uh, we also have the same parameter that before, that is the number of segments that we can connect. So let's bake it. Here we have the surface. 